In this video we're going to discuss some of the warm-ups that you can do before you play your violin. I mentioned recently that when I was filming doing a windshield wipers for you all, I thought I was above stretching and warming up. I did them cold and I pulled a muscle in my bow arm. So something simple like windshield wipers can get you if you're not warmed up. I think that warming up should come before stretches. Because if you think of it, stretching and pulling a cold muscle could actually be worse than just playing violin. So I have a simple warm-up routine to do before you even do your stretches. And I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say you could do these warm-ups and then play and then when you're done practicing you can do the stretches as a cool down. I think it's a good idea to do the warm-ups, a few stretches, and then play, and then stretch when you're done, just as a cool down, okay? But if time is limited, as it always is with me, um, you can do just two and a half minutes of these warm-ups, two and a half minutes of stretches, and you'll, you'll stay healthy, okay? So with that said, let me show you some of my warm-ups. Okay, I start with the large muscle groups. Starting with the neck, we first just start by nodding, yes, we're not stretching, don't stretch. We're just getting the muscles warmed up and moving, we're getting the blood flowing. Then we shake our head no, don't go any further than is absolutely easy. And then we go ear to ear, ah, okay, and that's enough on the neck. And then we go to our shoulders. I do some shruggy circles. I'm shrugging in backwards circles. And then I shrug in forwards circles. If you want, you can do separate. That actually gives you a little bit deeper warm up and stretch. But it does the same thing. So just choose which one is your favorite. Okay, then I do the swimmer shoulder warm up or I do backwards circles like I'm doing just a back stroke then the other arm okay and this is literally the only amount of time I'm doing maybe three to five reps of every one of these and that's enough you're getting the blood moving you're getting your muscles hot okay then I do what I call the jump rope motion. Glue your elbows to your ribs. And we're going to do some, like we're jumping rope. You know how when you could jump rope as a kid? <laughs> okay, then we'll do backwards, jumping the rope backwards. See that? And that's warming up our elbows and our shoulder sockets. Now we're going to move down to our elbow joints. And we're going to do exercises that remind me of the people directing traffic at the airport. We just do our greasy elbow out front. Okay, just easy, easy. Then out to the side. And then down. Like clocks, pendulums of a clock. Okay, and that's also moving the ball and socket of your shoulder a lot. That's all for the elbow. Um, then our finger, our wrists, we're going to do just these little circles in one, one direction going outwards and then one direction going inwards. Okay? Just back and forth. Then we're going to do doorknobs. And that's moving, that's, that's moving our whole, that's warming up our whole arm. You can feel it through your whole arm. And then do it above your head. And then out to the side. I'm snapping and crackling. I don't know about you, but I am. Okay, and that feels pretty good to me. Then finally, we can finally safely warm up our fingers. 
And to do that, we're going to do little circles with our fingers, starting with our index finger. Now don't clamp your other fingers down, because that's more stressful. Leave them all forward, like, like you're going to tickle someone. Do it one way, and then do it the other way. Okay, middle finger, one way then the other way. Ring finger, one way, then reverse it. Pinky, and reverse it. Thumbs, don't neglect your thumbs. They're a huge part of this whole unit, huge part. Let them do some circles and get warmed up too. Okay, then we're going to do some simple little finger taps. We're not squeezing, we're just tapping. And that's enough there. And that's just really getting this hot. I can really feel that. And then we're going to do some stretches called jellyfish. We do our straight fingers and then our bent fingers and then these knuckles go flat. This stretches right through here and right through here. Very good stretches to do. Cave those knuckles in. Oh, that feels good. Jellyfish and flat knuckles. Don't bother with why I call them jellyfish. It's a long story. It's because it reminds me of how jellyfish swim in the ocean. Anyway, moving on. Then we're going to do a few finger crossings. We're going to do index finger and middle finger. Let each one take turns being on top. And that stretches in between. It stretches teeny tiny muscles. Yes, I use the word stretch now because this is kind of more of a stretch than it is a warm up. But you've warmed up now so it's safe to do this stretch. Then we're going to do these two fingers, our tree frog fingers. I do my middle finger on top first and I just let it stretch. Then I have to help my ring finger to get on top and I stretch it. Just let it sit there for a minute. Then we're going to do these two fingers. My ring finger can get on top, but my pinky can't. So I have to help. Okay, so just always do equal and opposite motions. Don't let, oh, that one's not wanting to stay today. There we go. Don't let, don't, don't get in the habit of just stretching this way. Always do the opposite. Don't just stretch this part of your arm because it feels good. Always do the opposite. I can't say that enough. That If you do balanced stretches and balanced warm-ups, your chances of staying healthy are much greater. That is it for my warm-up routine before the instrument. And then with the instrument, I get my bow hand. Now I can safely do windshield wipers. And that's the next step in my warm-up routine. I start slow, let my pinky find its hold, and then I gradually speed it up. Then I do some pinky push-ups, just a few is all it takes. That's enough. Just make sure you're not cheating and using your wrist. It should be all pinky, okay? Then to warm up your left hand, I hold my violin guitar style and I just make a little ping sound. Okay, then finally, we get both hands and I play the twinkle twiddle. And that is where you play your twinkle theme, but every note you play, you do a little stinger, a little buzz note with the note above it. So the first note is A on your twinkle theme. Okay, so I'd go. The next note is F sharp, 
So I'm going to twiddle with the next finger up. Then my three pigs. I'm playing my third finger, so I'm going to do the twiddle with my fourth finger. Make sure that's relaxed. Okay, and then I finally just do a, a solid trill. And a trill is, is a brr, brr, on the violin. as you can do that in a relaxed way. If you clamp up, then it's probably going to work against you and you'll either have to learn to do it relaxed or don't use it as a warm-up. <laughs> so give it a try and it's, it's a good thing to learn. So if you can't do it relaxed, work on getting it relaxed and it'll be an excellent warm-up tool for you. Okay? Um, so those are my warm-ups, and then I've also done a whole video on violinistic stretches, and it's about a 10-minute video on YouTube. I'm going to include a link here for your convenience. The sooner you can just memorize these so you don't have to re re uh, refer to the video, the better, because then it's just in your head. You can do them spontaneously. Um, sometimes I don't have more than two and a half or three minutes to warm up before a rehearsal and half of that is in the car on the way to the rehearsal but I'm always I'm doing little things to get myself prepared and warmed up because just getting that blood flowing and getting those muscles hot is half the battle okay I'm glad that one of you asked me about stretches and warm-ups because I should have done this video a long time ago but now here it is, and I hope you'll use this information to help keep you healthy.